Hey everyone, it's Astro. Today we're going to talk about an interesting setting which is disabling full screen optimizations. You've probably heard about it before, but in this video I'll explain how it actually works and answer the big question, should you enable or disable it? Now, there is already a lot of content on this topic, especially from pro players. Most of them recommend turning this setting on, but they don't really explain why, so here I am. I want to dive into this in more detail and break it down for you as simple as possible. Quick reminder, I don't mind sharing this information for free and I will keep doing so in the future but it is important to note that not every tweak works for every setup so some settings might not be ideal for all systems which is why I sometimes skip or leave out certain things in my guides which are very important so if you're looking for a more personalized approach and you're tired of endless problems with your computer such as low FPS high input lag and you feel that something is definitely wrong with your game you can just book our computer optimization services in the Astro Crew discord or DM me on Twitter we work with players such as Monacy and additionally here's a list of other well-known professional players players from our portfolio. Links of course will be in the description. Now, let's clear things up a bit with a quick history lesson on how this parameter worked in previous versions of Windows. In Windows 7, for example, when you launch a game like CS, the screen would briefly flicker black for a second before showing you the actual game. The same thing happened when you hit the alt tab button, so the screen would flicker again before showing you desktop. So why did this happen? Well, in the full screen mode, the game was given exclusive access to your computer's resources. This meant that background processes, services and so on were basically turned off while you played, giving the game top priority. This exclusive mode could even give a slight performance boost compared to windowed mode, making gameplay more smooth and responsive. That's how it worked in Windows 7. But things changed with Windows 10. Microsoft recognized that the flickering and slow alt tab were problems, so they introduced a new mode called full screen optimizations. So the idea was to speed up the alt tab process without sacrificing performance. But in practice, things turned out to be more complicated. So let's break down how this setting works. Games can run in three different modes. First one, regular window windowed mode with borders, second one borderless windowed mode which looks like full screen basically, and third one regular full screen. So in Windows 7 the traditional full screen mode was called full screen exclusive, where the game had exclusive priority. With Windows 10 this was replaced by a full screen optimizations mode which aimed to keep performance while speeding up all tab process. But here's a catch. Full screen optimizations mode isn't actually a true full screen. It's more like an optimized borderless windowed mode. So don't take my word for it, you can check it yourself. When you launch a game just press the Windows plus space key combination and if the language change bar pops up in the corner the game is running in windowed mode because it's basically like an overlay so it's on top of your game so it's not a true full screen to get a real full screen you need to disable full screen optimizations by unchecking the box in the settings now does that actually mean that it is worth disabling well to answer this question let's talk about the pros and cons of each mode full screen exclusive the one with the box checked uh, gives the game top priority which can improve performance it also gives a more precise mouse feeling as all background windows processes are minimized and more resources are spent on handling your inputs. Full screen optimizations mode, the one with the box unchecked on the other hand, does offer lowest latency experience, meaning your mouse might not feel that precise compared to full screen exclusive mode, but it will be much more responsive and sharp. Microsoft spent a lot of time perfecting full screen optimizations mode and on newer windows builds it works even better, plus you have a faster alt up. So in short, if you play modern games like CS2, Valorant, Apex and you have a newer windows build then you should definitely stick to full screen optimizations mode meaning you do not check the box if you play older games or haven't updated your windows in a while then full screen exclusive mode might be a better alternative for you meaning you check the box so in conclusion i just wanted to say there are no strict set of rules when it comes to stuff like this so my best advice is to do your own testing of those two settings and based on the data i provided for you make an educated decision that's pretty much it i hope this video gave you some useful insights and help you clear things up a bit thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.